What is up everybody and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. This is another installment of the Do Bass Eat This series exclusive to Tyler's Real Fishing. Now as you guys have seen in the crawfish and the water dogs video or the lizard video, um, I'm testing out to see which kinds of forage bass eat at certain times of the year, especially centered around the spawn. Um, and kind of do bass eat a certain lizard or a certain uh, turtle or a certain other kind of fish uh, on their bed when they're spawning. And so if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe and share it with all your friends because that's the way you guys can get the content out there and get people to know about it. So let's jump into the video. Now, as you saw from the last video, the lizards, bass absolutely hate lizards on their beds, especially. And so that's why lizards work so well during the spawn time. And, and one cool thing that I, I really took from that is that uh, they're so easy to slurp in. I think that's what makes, especially the zoom lizard, super good is that it's so slimy that fish can just slurp it right in just like the water dog. And so that's why your hookup ratio is so high on lizards. But today, everybody, we're going to be fishing with turtles. Now, turtles, you may ask, bass don't eat turtles. Well, I have seen many videos out there of people throwing a, a baby turtle in their pond or in their bass tank, and the bass eats it. And so I thought, you know what, why not test this out? So I grabbed uh, a soft plastic turtle bait and I threw it down there on the bed. So let's jump into this footage and see what we can see. So today's video, as you can probably guess from the last few I have done in this series, will be completely underwater. Now, of course, I'm not going to actually stick a live baby turtle on this bed like I did with the other live bait videos, but I got as close as I could with the bombshell soft plastic turtle. This video will attempt to solve the question, do bass actually eat turtles? So let's get started and feel free to comment down below any observations that you guys see throughout the video. Now let's check out the first fish. The turtle drops in the bed and watch what happens. The fish doesn't really care. I mean, it amazes me that the turtle will hear repeatedly swim by the fish and, you know, hit him in the head, hit him in the tail. And although he, he sometimes shows interest like, like there, it's generally indifferent to it. You know, and eventually it gets irritated just at the presence of it, I think, that it mouths at it just to feel around. But I don't think it ever has the intent of actually eating the turtle. So let's move on to the second fish to see if this theme is shared. Well, this fish is definitely a little more mad at the presence of a turtle and definitely eats quite a few times, but definitely not to the extent of how fish ate the water dogs. So I'm not quite sure what to think about this. You know, if you guys haven't seen my water dog video, make sure you check that out. I basically stick a live salamander, lizard, whatever you guys want to call it, down there on the bed to see how fish react to it. And most of the time, they would just slurp it in or absolutely nail it. But the turtle is acting quite differently. This fish definitely takes the most bites when the turtle is on the move just like turtles do swim, so let's see if that pattern continues. Yep, the fish swims up to take a look, but doesn't want to eat it on the ground. It could care less about the turtle on the bed, but as soon as it starts to swim like turtles do, the bass starts to take bites, and quite big bites at that. I wish I could tell you the reasoning for that, but I'm not a fisheries biologist, and nor do I pretend to be, and so I don't speak bass, but I think that some of you guys do. Uh, and so if you guys you know, know what's going on, make sure you guys comment in the comment section below because I'm not quite sure why these patterns are emerging. Well, just for the fun of it, let's check out one more fish. Well, uh, <laughs> he ate on the first flip. So there goes all of the hypotheses that I have made thus far in the video. Now to answer the question that we asked at the beginning, do bass eat turtles? I think the answer is, no pun intended, swimming around out there still. So if you guys at home have any ideas, shoot them down in the comment section below. And this stuff was actually pretty fun to watch, so I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I did. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure as always hit that subscribe button, share this video with all your friends. And uh, I'm really enjoying this series. It's, it's an awesome time that I get to explore underwater and, and really find what kind of forage bass eat during this time of the year. So if you want to check out the crawfish video, if you've missed it, click up in this corner and the lizard video will be in this corner and we'll see you guys next time.